In computer programming languages the term default constructor can refer to a constructor that is automatically generated by the compiler in the absence of any programmer-defined constructors, and is usually a nullary constructor. In other languages it is a constructor that can be called without having to provide any arguments, irrespective of whether the constructor is auto-generated or use-defined. Note that a constructor with formal parameters can still be called without arguments if default arguments were provided in the constructor's definition. C++ In C++, the standard describes the default constructor for a class as a constructor that can be called with no arguments. For example, when allocating memory dynamically, the constructor may be called by adding parentheses after the class name. In a sense, this is an explicit call to the constructor. If the constructor does have one or more parameters, but they all have default values, then it is still a default constructor. Remember that each class can have at most one default constructor either one without parameters, or one whose all parameters have default values, such as in this case. In C++, default constructors are significant because they are automatically invoked in certain circumstances. And therefore, in these circumstances, it is an error for a class to not have a default constructor, when an object value is declared with no argument list, for example my class x, or allocated dynamically with no argument list, for example new my class or new my class. The default constructor of my class is used to initialize the object. When an array of objects is declared, for example my class x, 10, or allocated dynamically, for example new my class, 10. The default constructor of my class is used to initialize all the elements. When a derived class constructor does not explicitly call the base class constructor in its initializer list, the default constructor for the base class is called. When a class constructor does not explicitly call the constructor of one of its object valued fields in its initializer list, the default constructor for the fields class is called. In the standard library, certain containers fill in values using the default constructor when the value is not given explicitly. For example, vector my class, 10, initializes the vector with 10 elements, which are filled with a default constructed my class object. If a class has no explicitly defined constructors, the compiler will implicitly declare and define a default constructor for it. This implicitly defined default constructor is equivalent to an explicitly defined one with an empty body. For example, if constructors are explicitly defined for a class, but they are all non-default, the compiler will not implicitly define a default constructor, leading to a situation where the class does not have a default constructor. This is the reason for a typical error, demonstrated by the following example. Since neither the programmer nor the compiler has defined a default constructor, the creation of the objected pointer to by P leads to an error. Java and C, in both Java and C, a default constructor refers to a nullary constructor that is automatically generated by the compiler if no constructors have been defined for the class. The default constructor is also empty, meaning that it does nothing. A programmer-defined constructor that takes no parameters is also called a default constructor. References C++ Standard, ISO IEC 14882-1998, 12.1.5, C++ Standard, ISO IEC 14882-2003, 12.1.5, Computer Science A Structured Approach Using C++ by B. Rosefo Rausen and Richard F. Gilberg, Computer Science A Structured Approach Using C++ by B. Rosefo Rausen and Richard F. Gilberg, Java Language Specification, 3rd Edition, Section 8.8.9, .8 .9, Default Constructor. Using Constructors.